Shout out to all those people out there that's using a thing on their head to make GoPro videos for their window cleaning. <laughs> Cause I know when I first did it, I feel ridiculous. When people walk by, I really feel ridiculous. That's why my hair always looks funny too. But yeah, shout out to you if you, uh, if you put one of these things on your head to make window cleaning videos. <laughs> Hey YouTube, Joshua the Window Cleaner here today and today I want to talk about what happens when uh, the customer is a customer that is not around and their water doesn't work. So uh, we just encountered, so I'm going to show you the way I handle this today because this is what this video is going to be about because I'm going to show you how to do it if you go to a job that doesn't have water, like their water is not working. It's not ideal and you really want them to tell you beforehand uh, so you can prepare for that so you can bring your own water and stuff um, but you just have to do things differently normally we use the screen washer uh, we were going to use the water fed pole for this house but now we can't do any of that so everything's gonna have to be traditional which is another reason why you want to have both water fed pole and traditional um, whenever you show up to the job because you don't know what you're going to encounter um, so now i'm gonna have to wash all these screens by hand and i'm going to show you how we do that and then i'm gonna have to traditionally wash all these windows which is fine um, but it's going to take us a little bit longer. Uh, the water fed pole is just going to be a lot quicker today. But uh, I'll show you how you know because you go to the water source out here. Okay. And when you see that tag on there, water service disconnect. So. It says $125 tamper fee. So you really don't want to tamper with that. So I'm gonna slide that back in there. Okay. Put this back on. That's how you know water ain't gonna be working today. Because I tried to turn my screen washer on over here and I already had the I was gonna be water fed pot. I had it all hooked up. Didn't even try to use the water first, so I guess that'd probably be another good tip. Try the water before you hook everything up. Um, yeah, so we don't have no water, but it's all good. So I'm going to make a couple videos today, uh, showing you how we handle that, how we wash the screens when we don't have the screen washer and, uh, what you already know, traditional window cleaning, you see us do that. So, so there's no worries on that, but that's what we'll be doing. So we'll see you in just a second. Peace out. All right. So now your bucket, we normally bring two gallons of water with us to each job um we put it in here this time so uh yeah i don't like using a big mop to wash the screens so i'm gonna wash the screens first um let's see i have a smaller mop that i bring with me this little thing right here because of the water usage you're gonna use a lot of water with that and we don't have a lot of water today because we don't have any water so i'm gonna go ahead and uh make sure that my squirt bottle is filled up good enough that should be good, that should be good. Okay. We're gonna need as much water as we possibly can get. I'm gonna go ahead and get my mop for window cleaning wet, just in case I run out. So now I got this. Let's see, I'll grab a couple of these. All right. All right, so just an update. Um, my customer just called, said that we could use, she knows the neighbor very well. So she can, uh, she said that we could use the neighbor's uh, water 
So we're not going to use the water fed pole. We're still going to limit what we use. Um, I'm, I'll probably use the water fed pole to wash our garage down. I might use the neighbor's water for that. Uh, but on the screens, I'm still going to show you how we would do it without any water. Um, but because I don't want to use the neighbor's water a whole bunch, I only, I'm only going to use it to wash the garage because I do want to use the water fed pole to wash the garage because it's really, really dirty. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and wash these by hand and I'm going to show you how we do it. So I have the silver back. Um, the reason why I like to use this one is because the hairs on it are really, really long and it'll scrub it down real good. And this is from ABC Window Cleaning Company. Uh, I got this a long time ago when I first started, but I've used this for screens several times and it works great. But it's good to know that we can still have water, um, but I'm gonna act like we don't, except for on the garage door. So, first thing you wanna do is just the same way you would normally do it. Just kinda get a little bit of soapy water on there to help you out. Um, you wanna have a bigger towel, and then you wanna have a few uh, microfibers so you can wipe down the frames. A couple of terry cloths just in case. Uh, but you want the mop to be really wet and then you just kind of mop over it so even if you don't have a screen washer you can do it this way but the reason why i like using the smaller um, the smaller mop is because you don't use as much water and then also you can be more precise with your scrubbing and uh, i just like it a lot better so so after you do that you take your microfiber no difference than before Gonna tap it off. Okay. And then what I like to do is I like to take my big towel and then I'll just dry it off with the big towel. But I use the little towel to knock all the big water off. And this usually cleans it pretty good. Um, and you can just wipe the inside of this down bigger towel too. The inside is not going to be as dirty as the outside. Um, and then you can take a terry cloth, dip it in the water, wring it out, and then just wipe your frames down. And then just set it to dry like you normally would with the screen washer. So if you don't have uh, the budget for a screen washer yet, you can wash the screens like this too. It takes a lot longer in my opinion and I feel like it doesn't do as good of a job, but this is the way we did it before I had a screen washer. So this is the way I would do it if uh, you pull up to a house and there's no water. All right. All right, and it shouldn't be too wet. So you really won't have to like angle it. It's not gonna be a big deal. I'll do a smaller screen real quick, just one more to show you. Okay, take the silver back. Just wring it out just a little bit because you don't want to waste all that water when you don't have that much water. Uh, but you still want to have enough to kind of scrub it down. Okay. Now I only mop the outside. You really don't have to mop the inside. You could, I guess, but I don't think it does anything. And again, you want to save on that water as much as possible. Okay, tap it off as much as possible. Not too much though, because you still want a little bit of water to help scrub down. But you just don't, you don't want to get this thing soaking wet. Just maybe a little bit wet to help scrub down the screen. Okay, and we'll wipe the inside of this. Again, the inside is not going to be as dirty as the outside, in my opinion, just from my experience. Okay. Take your terry cloth that's wet, wipe down the frames, and then your terry cloth is going to become pretty dirty pretty quickly. So just as an extra step, you can keep your terry cloth in there, grab another terry cloth, and use it to dry it to make sure that there's no like dirt smears or anything on the frames. But you'll see that after you do about five or six of them, your terry cloth will be really dirty. So. I'm just gonna set it up and just keep going. I got a bunch of screens to do, so I'm not gonna show you all the screens, but I just wanted to show you real quick 
That's how we do it if we didn't have water. Okay, now that you washed all the screens, you want to make sure you get your terry cloth and wring it out as much as possible because again, you're short on water. You don't have a whole lot of water, so um, you want to take your mop off and everything all in here. So like I said, squeeze all that water out into your bucket so that you can have enough. And we only use two gallons. A lot of people also use in three to five gallons. We bring two gallon jugs with us and it normally can get us through the day um, in case we run out of water. And what we do is we use that two gallons. If the water does work, we use that two gallons to fill up in our bucket for our mops and everything. And then we'll fill them back up for the next job. Uh, but the next job today is, is gonna have water because it's a commercial. So I've already been there and maintained the window, so I know that they're gonna have it. But yeah, so you wanna wring everything out. Take off the sleeve and then wring it out as much as possible. And I still got roughly about a gallon of water still, as you can see. Not very much, but it's enough for a mop on the outside and a mop on the inside if we have to. The good thing we have the golden glove. And then we also have water in our spray bottles too, so that'll help a lot. But uh, yeah, so that's how you wash the screens. If you don't have any water, you only have a couple gallons of water with you. Uh, that's how we do it. Hope you enjoyed.